And we are live. Hopefully I can open my bottle. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Got my crystal water here. Welcome, welcome. Hashtag replay. If you're on replay, let me know who is here. I'm just going to wait a couple of minutes just to let everyone have some time to jump in. I've got my citrine water bottle here. We are currently in the full moon vibes and you guys would buzz out. If you were here for signs and synchronicities, you would buzz out at my extra screen that I have here. The whole thing is packed full of monarch butterflies. Okay, so if you were here for what day was that? That was signs and synchronicities. Uh, it was it was day four. Um, I was telling you guys a story about Emma and how Emma the spirit girl came through and how she really helped to bring me into the space of mediumship where I can be doing readings for others and monarch butterflies was a really big sign they were like everywhere it was one of those huge things so if you were here welcome 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 let me put my phone on flight mode I'm so happy to have you here this is the sixth day of awaken to your spiritual gifts I am your host Victoria Bond if you have just landed here on my page and this is the first time you have seen me live then hello I would love to know who is here I'd love to know where you're from I'd love to know if you've been doing this have you been doing this challenge this challenge is essentially a free program we have got a workbook um, it's very comprehensive it's very easy to use yes it's printable but you can also use it digitally by downloading it and getting yourself a pen and paper Good morning, good morning, good morning. Just letting everybody jump on. Hello, I'm just having some more water. It's extremely muggy here today. The full moon energy is intense. So how are you feeling right now? Now, if you're watching this down the track, <laughs> a few months, a few years down the track, because it will be something that continues to go. I've got to say, <laughs> this, this challenge is my life. I love you, Linda. Um, there is intensity in the air. I don't know if I've been Arthur or Martha in the last 24 hours. Actually, I've been feeling lots of shadows come up. Um, I spoke about this yesterday in the day five. I've had shadows come up. I've had insecurities. I've had feelings of um, imposter syndrome. I've had feelings of excitement and expansion as new people have been jumping into this vortex. Um, so I would love to know, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? I put a post on today saying, how's everyone feeling, right? How are you feeling? Hello, Heidi. So I'm excited today. And I've got some really, really, <laughs> something that's going to blow your mind. Something that's going to blow your mind. Something that happened to me yesterday afternoon. I can't wait to share it with you. But first of all, please do remember, if you share this, if you are here doing this with us, if you are sharing this, I am writing down your name. If you are tagging me and sharing it with your communities, sharing it on your stories, um, private messaging people the link and saying, hey, come over to this free freaking program. You can actually go into the guides and catch up on the replays. We've got this incredible freaking workbook, which costs me a lot of money to get put together because my team and I, we hire people, we work together, we have meetings about this stuff. This is not just a silly little challenge. This is a life-changing program if that's what you choose it to be. You're being activated with light language through this. You are um, really going through, we've been through the fear and the signs and synchronicities. There's so many we've been through. We've gone through gratitude and how important that is. And my guides came through today and told me, Victoria, Chill the fuck out, man. Have some gratitude for everything that you have already created. We are always looking after you. Thank you. Like a gratitude creates, ah, right? Come back to gratitude. The pleasure practice that we bring in. So important. I, I go through this in the previous days, okay? We have done the kingdom of we. That was a very, like my husband said, a mind-blowing um, day three, really. It was pretty intense. We, I talk in riddles. I do that on purpose. Or the guides do that on purpose to get you out of your thinking mind, get you out of your control systems, and get you into what else is possible. We talked about signs and synchronicities. It was very, very close to my heart. Um, speaking about my own personal journey, becoming a psychic medium, or should I say owning my psychic mediumship gifts. And of course, we have becoming the boss entity clearer yesterday. Um, and that was very powerful. Again, 
some people were going oh whoa 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 when i said do you want to be cleared right now i gifted every single person a clearing yesterday if you watch the replay if you haven't done that so far you know up until now it's still available it still works okay it still works hello <laughs> so happy to hear your la um, voice and your laugh oh thank you um so let me know guys where are you from did you find me on TikTok? have you been with me for years maybe you're like linda and you you know we, we met each other in a little town and she did a healing on me at my first wellness fair where are you from are you a client have you just landed what drew you into that i'd love to know pop it in the chat box because today today is going to be powerful today is going to be powerful you'll notice that there's a different vibration in every energy that i bring in i have formulated this with my guides also with my my tech team and my virtual assistants and, and my beautiful husband and obviously just all of this has been created in this beautiful heart-led space where you can watch everything like day one day two day three day four day five i'm not that type of person i'm the type of person who comes to all the lives or or skips jumps and i go back to week one and then i go day one and then i come back to day four and it's you can do it in a system or you can do it randomly but i promise you that every single day has huge activations massive power behind it this has been my priority for the 10 days that we're in here we're on day six my priority has been gifting this and creating this for you i put my heart and soul into it tick tock tick tock whoop whoop austin texas i love people from texas um i've been i've been with you for years yes you have stephanie and stephanie at first came to me actually um there's a few tick tocks here yay um my podcast awesome through my sister amanda who's also a medium um yeah so stephanie came to me um through another coach who's one of my friends and she got a free session with me um if you know what i mean it wasn't free but, uh, but obviously it came from her coach and her dad came through and she went on to come into my vortex and she did magnificent mediumship she came into my mastermind she came into my business programs and she is thriving and left her job right go find her out if you're into business go click on <laughs> stephanie lenny she literally is an ace at um at instagram and left her job and packed up her child and her husband hopped in a fancy rv and off they went and they've been living digit digital nomads if you will for like a year so fucking proud of you stephanie so proud of you <laughs> you're amazing oh okura yeah taranaki mm -mm, delicious i love you too okay thank you for that i love to see where people have come from i've been stalking you for about two years now anita anita you haven't really stalked me you came into the certification you actually came along because about two years ago i did a 30-day challenge right and you came along yeah okay you shared um you were shared by somebody else's ages ago now yeah and please comment if you have shared take a photo screenshot share it on your stories in your group some of you have been posting and sharing a lot i really appreciate that because you uh, your names are getting written down with lots of ticks at the end of this 10-day challenge on day 10 we have a live q a on zoom so we get to you get to pick my brain and ask me anything right and someone's going to win a 30 minute session with me i've got a few other things up my sleeve some offers that are coming that i'm brewing up to um they're just sitting with my guides right now and they're landing and it's going to be amazing but my main thing that i'm really wanting to i want to say promote at the moment is my membership because it's only 19 dollars a week and you can pull out at any time and it's extremely powerful we've just started it it's the love of my life at the moment um, but i do have other things as well so are you ready conversations with spirit <gasps> favorite subject let me have a drink <sighs> kirsty found you through a friend yeah yeah you've been in my vortex you've done mm as well you've done my certification yeah i love it so much you brought mum and dad through. That was priceless. Oh. oh my God. I love you guys so much. And now we've got Stacy. Stacy, who's been here. She is um, one of my one to ones. And I get confused because Stacy and Stephanie Lenny. I'm like, ah, dyslexic. <laughs> Both managers. Whoop. Okay. Enough with that. The inside ins and outs of my business. Now, 
What happened yesterday was, do you remember on day five how we did entity clearing and how I said it's extremely important part of this work? Entity clearing and shifting energy, everything we're going through is huge parts of what I bring into all of my coaching, either whether it's my membership or my certification. We hone and it's just at level, different levels of intensity, right? Do you remember the entity clearing yesterday? Do you remember? <laughs> read. <laughs> Do you remember when I said, well, for instance, there's a lady standing next to me from like 1910 or 1903 who was wearing these clothes who doesn't want to pass over because da 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 da. I was like making up a story to get you to understand what it feels like when you've got like a spirit who's like, I want to say like following you around and you're like getting really tired, an attachment of a spirit. And then I went, holy shit, I think this person's real. Do you guys remember that? Were you here yesterday when I said, holy shit, I, I think this person's real. Anyway, I didn't think much else of it, right? And then I got off the couch and I felt, I got off the, this, right? And I sat on the couch and I felt really emo. <laughs> I just looked at the time, it was 11, 11. And now it's 12, 12. 11, 11 minutes have been going and it's 12, 12 p.m. What the flying F. Signs and synchronicities, right? So I'm meant to be telling you this clearly. I sat on the couch and I said to my husband, I'm feeling really emotional. I'm feeling like there's so much coming up. I'm feeling so much. This week is bringing up so much for me. This challenge is bringing up so much for me. I upgrade. <laughs> the guides aren't just talking to you. They're talking to me too. I'm going through my own freaking shit here. My own upgrade. The crumble before the explosion. Like I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And I'm sitting there telling my husband, what is going on? And I went, oh shit. Took me two hours to figure out that this girl who I was telling you guys about yesterday, who I said, oh, like the girl who's standing there, like thought I was telling you a hypothetical story, was a real girl in spirit. And I said to like, oh my God, this is Sunday. I want to be chilling out. But all I can see is the spirit. She's got to go. At this time, I'm tired, right? Because we've been doing this challenge. It takes a lot of energy and I just wanted to chill out. But I've got a spirit standing next to me. Do you know what she said to me? I said, come on, girlfriend. It's time for you to go. Like, I want to get on with my day. And then I remembered, well, she's probably been looping for such a long time. Yeah, she was stalking me for sure. And I literally said to her, like you need to go like it's time to go because I'm I'm tired and I want to be with my family I was getting a little bit tired and shitty and then I was like oh okay you don't want to go I was like look you can go you can go there's nothing to be afraid of like my husband's sitting there watching me and I'm going and I'm saying it out loud then I'm going quiet and he's like looking at me and I'm like do you think I'm weird and he goes do what you need to do babe do what you need to do and literally she said no I don't believe you I went, what this lady said, I don't believe you. If I pass over, I'm going to go to like hell or purgatory and I just don't want to do it. I would rather stay here. So very strong world girl from like 1903 or 1913 or 1910. I'm not really sure, but it's definitely those early 1900s, 310 or 13. And I said, are you kidding me? Okay, so I'm going to do a proper clearing on you here. All right. And this is what the things I teach in my certification, right, by the way. And I said, look, I promise you there is nothing to fear. I promise you I'm not lying. I promise you that the way you were taught with those restrictions, with those rules and stuff, I promise you <laughs> that you can go choose again. I did a very special um, intricate clearing. It's, it's like something that I, I teach in my certification. Um, but the idea of it was this conversation, right? I had to get her parents to come through. I had to like, hey, parents of this chick, can you come through? Like I literally had to like hoot that out right through to the, through the dimensions, wherever her parents were. And they came through. They saw them come to the stairs. So I visualized in my head, they came to the stairs. They kind of came down and they said, come on, babe. There's nothing to worry about. I promise you. It took probably 10, 15 minutes. And for me, I can usually do it in a minute. She was like, no fucking way. I ain't going to that light. Are you kidding me? She thought I was trying to trick her. 
That person yesterday that we were talking about was real. I felt emotional. I felt absolutely like, <gasps> what is happening right now? I'm feeling so many emos. It's just the moon. I need to do some releasing. I think I'm stressing out. School is coming. I'm feeling overloaded. What is happening? And I'm like, why is this happening? Because I'm so fucking happy and content. And I love this challenge. And I love my clients. And I love all the new people coming into my world. And I love my membership. And I love my sort of... You, you get the picture. My life is beautiful. Why was I stressing out? I was feeling her. This stuff is happening in real time in this challenge. The guides bring these things through so I can share my story so you can see that. Okay. Does that make sense? If you listen back, I'm sure you'll acknowledge then that she was real. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I, I might do that, Linda, actually, because I believe, I believe totally. I did say to my husband in a moment, do you think I'm crazy? Like, am I going crazy? What is, and this is a part of mediumship, guys. When we haven't been taught that this is real, when we haven't been taught that having a conversation with your imaginary friends or being afraid of the boogie monster, when we've been told that shit's not real, we doubt ourselves, even when we are highly skilled mediums that have been doing it for a long time. But then I remember who the fuck I am. And I remember that I'm a powerful, all-knowing, infinite being in a human experience. Okay? So, conversations with spirit. I told you about Emma and the conversations with her and the conversations with her mum. I talked about this in the signs and synchronicities on day four, I believe. But one day, one day, I decided that I had to do a reading on somebody I barely knew. So I'd met this lady at the spiritual fair and she and I'd given her my card. I taught, told her I was a hairdresser as well and just dabbling in a little bit of healing stuff, right? And she came to me and then I realized she was this very powerful, amazing lady and she went to spiritual churches. For me, I was like, ah, like spiritual churches? Is that safe? Right? Still had that whole Catholic kind of, energy um residue of like watch out you know look out the devil's on your back type of shit so she came along and i trusted her i liked her and i said to her can i practice my mediumship on you please she said absolutely and i said i need someone that's not going to judge me if i get it wrong i was willing to fuck up to get all the no's in the world first thing i teach in my programs right is get used to getting no's no's are good if you don't receive no's if you're afraid of judgment then you're never going to go too far you're going to stay average and small okay so here i am i said come upstairs after i did her hair i said sit down i'm shaking i'm nervous i'm like ah it's a bit different to emma because emma i knew her kind of and i knew her mum, and it was it was a bit different i didn't know this lady sat there like this I've got my cards. <laughs> I'm, I'm standing there going, okay. And then someone said, put down your cards. My head said, put down your cards. And I went, no fucking way. This is my tool. I need this tool, right? A lot of mediums hide behind their tools. A lot of people in MLMs hide behind the brand. Not saying MLMs are bad. They're good if you know how to use them, right? Um, a lot of people hide behind modalities, Reiki, access consciousness, because they're afraid to go, I am the powerful being. I am the brand. I was hiding behind my cards. Put down my cards. And I said, and it literally a voice said, close your eyes and just tell her exactly what you see. So I worked through the fear. I looked at the signs and synchronicities. What else did I do? What's in this workbook? I came into the kingdom of we. I was doing this. It was happening, right? I came into gratitude for being there. I dropped all my barriers. I expanded my energy and I thought, fuck it, I've got nothing to lose. The worst case scenario is she says no. No, you're full of shit. You got it wrong. <laughs> Whatever. And I don't really know her. So who cares, right? It's not like I'm going to be all overly embarrassed that time I tried to read and think I was a psychic medium and I wasn't really. Right? Does this resonate with you? So I sat down and I, oh, I didn't sit down. I, I just went, I'm going to tell you everything that I can see. I closed my eyes and I just saw this man. And this man looked just like the guy from Gone with the Wind. Do you guys remember Gone with the Wind? Like really old black and white movie, I believe. And I was like, oh my God. 
the guy from Gone with the Wind. Of course, those words came to me. And here he is. He's got this smirk, looking quite sly. He's got this moustache. And he's standing tall. He's slim. He's skinny. Okay. And then all of a sudden I go, show me what else. Show me what else. I see a little boy and a little girl. Slightly different in height. They're blue. Blue eyes and blonde hair. A boy and a girl. And I was like, okay. Why are these people relevant? Show me more. Show me more. And... He, he showed me his personality. I said, what is your personality like and how do you feel? And I just kept asking these questions and storing it in my brain. And then when I went, okay, I'll tell you what it is. I see a guy, he looks like the guy from Gone with the Wind. He is kind of a little bit shy and he doesn't say much, but he's quite confident. He, there's a boy and a girl, similar age, blue eyes, blonde hair. There's something about the kids. I don't know what it is. And there's something to do with you that she, he wants to say thank you for. And oh my God, this is so embarrassing. And she said, Victoria, and there was other things there, but this was like seven years ago kind of thing, or maybe six years ago. She said, that is the most accurate reading I've ever had in my life. And I said, are you lying? Are you, are you pulling my leg? Are you bullshitting me? You totally are, right? And she said, nope. She goes, that is my uncle. My uncle, he was a stay-at-home dad. And he was bringing up his children. Everyone said he looked like the guy from Gone with the Wind. His children were blonde hair, blue eyed, and they were very similar in age. One day his wife, who was from a different country, packed up the kids in the middle of the night and fled. And he did not see those children again until I got them back together when I went over to um, her OE or whatever. She was working in a pub and she got those children who were now older, and I'm getting goosebumps, and the father together in the pub to reunite. He had recently just passed, or he had passed within three years, sorry, that three-year thing, and she had been to many mediums, and no one had been able to bring him through until that day. That was my first reading without cards. And I think I cried. <laughs> because I realized that my imagination, my whole entire life had been playing out these scenarios, these um, nearly like premonitions, um, other people's thoughts. And oh, they think that about me, but how come they're acting this way? Right? Um, there's something not right here, or like, I feel that person should do that or not do that, or what, all these things. And I said, shh, mind, shut the fuck up, right? I'm psychic as fuck she was like whoa that day my life changed that day I said I trust you spirit have I got a lot of no's in my readings yes every time I got the no I said okay well if it's not your great grandmother standing here who the fuck is it let's find out right <laughs> a lot of mediums they shut down oh okay your grandma's alive well it mustn't be her what about the guy when I'm doing a reading for one of my clients um Jess I don't I don't think she's here but I said why do I see this man here like your father is your father alive or has he passed and she said he's alive and I said okay well I see your father and I see a grandfather and she said, mm, yeah, I don't know my grandfather and my dad doesn't talk about him. My dad wants nothing to do with him. I go, well, your granddad, I don't know whether he's alive or not, but he's got a whole lot of stuff he wants to say and he wants to reunite and reconnect. That created a whole lot of opening up in the family, a whole lot of let's go and try to connect with the granddad. I don't know if it actually went well. I don't know, but there was some type of closure. I can see living spirits living spirits and I was talking to Jess's dad and his like higher self he doesn't know that consciously but it, it creates a ripple effect of change right we can talk to higher selves we can talk to humans because we are a human and a being and that being does not require the body right the body is a part of us we leave all the time and come back all the time how does this feel does this blow your mind does this like take you back to, oh my God, where the hell have I been psychic? Where the hell have I been having conversations with spirit? Now, one of my little buddy mates, he's like 11, I think, um, full blown ADHD, all these different things with him, super, super, super powerful boy. I'm actually writing about him in my book. Um, I've got a book that's coming out soon. I'm nearly finished writing it. And 
we're walking past a river one day and he said oh my god there's so many monsters down there and his mum said monsters aren't real if you've been me with for a while you probably have heard these stories and i said yeah they are <laughs> let's not tell the little boy that his he's not real okay i'm not saying go tell your kids that monsters are real because like i'm not saying that at all but don't tell them that what they are experiencing or perceiving is not real instead we can actually ask them questions and reframe it if you have a kid that has got this bright big imagination they're probably super psychic and you probably need to read the book would you teach a fish to climb a tree okay <laughs> that's a book that you need to read if you have a kid that has night terrors that is like on any type of spectrum would you teach a fish to climb a tree so this little boy who, whenever I talked to him, he would be like, I can see my aunt, it's, it's Emma's nephew, by the way, right? So of course I was drawn to all these families and they wanted me to help. So um, he would be like, my auntie Emma is standing here talking to me and so was my gran and da 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 And his mum would be like listening like, what the fuck? And he would just open up and tell me these things like, I believe you. Of course I believe you you know so you don't need to be afraid of monsters this was my conversation around the monster thing because you are more powerful than anything i don't give a shit if you're 5 15 25 5 months old or 55 or 95 you are more powerful than anything energetically right you are. Oh, hey, Leslie. And Leslie, you work with a whole lot of children that have got these superpowers, right? So, so beautiful. So beautiful. I talk to my grandchildren's higher self often, send them all my love as I am able to see them and as I'm uh, unable to see them at, at the moment. Yeah. I've been seeing strangers lately that my higher self knows that I have to stop myself from saying hello because I have no idea who they are. You know when you're walking in the supermarket and you see someone you lock eyes on somebody it's like i remember you all right so conversations with spirit conversations with spirit the conversations happen in so many ways this is the things that i go into deeper when people are in my vortex as my membership my certification of course in one-to-one -one as well and conversations aren't necessarily like i said at the beginning it's not just about oh when i was a little kid i could see spirit or i'm a psychic because i've always been able to see spirit and i really want to make an impact this year to change the points of views on what a medium is because to know spirit is to know yourself and i once put a thing up on facebook and these this medium came into my chat box and into on online and said this is bullshit because you have it or you don't have it i'm a psychic medium and not everybody else is and i was like that's an interesting point of view hmm well i think that's bullshit because i think everybody is a medium i think everybody is a human and a being and a soul i think it doesn't matter if you're five or 95 you can still deeply connect in it's just the perspective that we have on how it is my three pillars in my business that i've had forever since i started is release you got to release the fear and exercise one is all about identifying the fear take some time to reflect on what fears you have about speaking seeing or acknowledging spirit i don't want to be too shown out there da, 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 da. i get it i get it i get it i get it okay i totally get it um i'm over that now <laughs> a little bit there's still a little bit there still a little bit there i'm not gonna lie i've got a lot of christian and i love most of my a lot of my clients are christian but i've got a lot of highly intense christians that are totally against this stuff around me and my family environments and stuff and um i have to go well fuck it i'm gonna show up and share what i know to be true and respect you and people just won't show up to these conversations if they're not interested right my fear is the fear of judgment hard out i have fears so i work with that and i show up despite that because i don't want to be average i don't want to be small i don't want to be crushed i don't want to be fitting into something that a system that is broken where we need to have freedom of speech in all areas not just through our sexuality not just uh, our voting rights but in what we know to be true instead of like shutting up when i see the spirit maybe i could say well hey i, I see the spirit 
right? A few spirits have come to me in this communication, this, um, what we're doing, <laughs> this challenge. So what are your fears? If you write them down, if you work through them, or maybe you need to go back to um, the first session and do some more clearing about that. Really, really important. Okay. Your family's that way? Yeah. <laughs> My mum is like, ah which is ironic because her whole side is extremely psychic. So you've got people that are born super psychic um, and they see with their eyes, so they can't kind of hide that. But when you're seeing it with your head, it's so much easier to say it's imagination. Um, but my experience and my evidence, so that practicing and evidence, right, write them down is a huge part of mediumship because to open up to your spiritual gifts is to, I'm going back into my pillars in a second. <laughs> Thank you. A guy just told me. Um, it's really about knowing who you are and actually being able to step through the fear. I was fearful to go to Emma's mum, Jude, and say, I've got your daughter here. I was very fearful to go recently to a girl who had taken her own life, to go to her peer, her family and say, oh, I've got all the stuff I need to tell you, Right very fearful because I don't like shaking any boats or upsetting anybody. Um, but I got the evidence. I got the evidence, not necessarily to feel my ego, but to say, you're on the right fucking track. Keep going, Victoria. Keep teaching this shit because everyone is a medium. My three pillars, release the fear, like I just said. The second one is receive. Release all of the old crap conditioning programming that is no longer serving you, that keeps you in that fear. And then literally receive the information, the conversations with spirit. The third one is shifting the perspective. Shift the perspective. My perspective was, oh, I'm just seeing heads in my eye, in my, in my mind's eye when I'm going to sleep because I'm crazy. And because I'm just, oh, I'm just seeing all these heads. That person, that person, that person, that person flashing when I'm trying to sleep. Oh, I can't sleep because mind chatter, I can't stop thinking, songs going over and over and over, there's monarch butterflies everywhere and feathers and signs and synchronicities. Ah. Spirit was doing everything I could to get my attention. And when I was clever enough to stop and say, maybe mediumship, because obviously I'm, I was getting this fire of Ah, I'm so excited. Oh, to be a, a medium would be epic. I was so excited about it, but I had no idea how to do it. I was going into crystal shops going, hi, I think I'm going through a spiritual awakening. I think I might be a medium, but I also think I might be crazy. Can you help? Here, Victoria, buy this book. Thanks. Um, help. I felt like I was in a room screaming and no one could hear me about my psychic gifts and my superpowers. Couldn't tell my husband. Could not tell my mum. She'd be like, start coming to church again and start fucking praying for your soul, girlfriend. <laughs> I had a beautiful Christian neighbor and I told her, I sat down one day, I told her everything and I said, do you believe me? And she said, I believe you. I said, thank you. Thank you, Jodie. It was crazy. I was Catholic. I believe that maybe I was selling my fucking soul to the devil if I went down this path. And then I realized that everything I was doing is from love. So how could I be evil? If I want to help the children of the world, the Jakes of the world who have got the, got the superpowers are on the spectrum. These kids that are coming through, they need understanding. They're not broken. I'm not broken. I'm dyslexic. I didn't pass school at all. And now I am a businesswoman selling the most incredible incredible like produce which is self-belief empowerment superpowers you're not crazy you're phenomenal but if you can shift the perspective on what a medium is meant to look like and start seeing that your conversations with spirit are happening all the time then you go holy shit now you're not searching trying to find how do i find it no you sit within yourself and one thing leads you to another, leads to another. Why do you think you're here? You're not here by accident if you're still engaged, right? You may feel triggered. You may feel resistance. You may, but usually that's a good thing. Maybe you already know this. Then hopefully I'm giving you a reminder. But it's such an honor. And I think half the reason why I felt really anxious yesterday and after I, and I cleared the spirit that was there with me was because 
I know that my task here on earth is huge. This morning I woke up and I said, why can't I just be a fucking mum? Why do I have to do these things and try to connect to people so they can hear how amazing they are? I got a little bit bitter, not because I had to do this, because I love doing this. I love doing this, but I care so much about doing this. I care so much about my membership. Do I get a lot of money from that? $19 a week? No, but I care so much about it. I'm kind of obsessed. Why can't I just be like living a normal life and fit into the average? Because I can't. <laughs> These children are not broken, Victoria. I know. Thank you so much for being such an amazing advocate for them. They're not broken. They are, they are our leaders. They are our leaders. We are our leaders. The fact that I'm dyslexic and probably on the spectrum, da 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 da, da my great great grandmother ended up dying in a mental institute and no one ever talks about her. Like, there is a lot that we're bringing to the surface now. And now we have this freedom of who we be. So, that lady who said, Well, you're a medium or you're not, good fucking luck. Because I can guarantee you that you are just doing. Plain old readings of plain old cards and maybe making an impact. But I want to teach people how to fish and how to teach how to fish. <laughs> Not just give them a fish. I don't that's why I don't do readings. Right? I I teach people how to do readings that are so unique where they can go ahead. Or someone like Leslie, who creates a huge impact in the world for all these children in the world with her sand drawings, with her ceremonies. That is her unique gift, right? I'm going to start getting back to the conversations now. It's just how I feel, okay? Why can't I just be content doing the, the housework? I can't because I've got this purpose and this mission and it's a fire in my belly and I will die fucking doing it. That's what I will do. And I can't apologize for that. Not everyone. Oh, hello, Penny. Hey, beautiful. Not everyone has that because some people, their purpose is to be a mum and to nurture those children so they can grow up and change the world. That is their purpose. I am a mum. It's a part of my purpose. But teaching and being here right now is in alignment with how much I love my kids. How huge is that? I want to learn. Come and learn. <laughs> we have these tools. We have them. They're beautiful. They're amazing. They're fabulous. We have this tool. This tool here is amazing. And if we can shift our perspective and start seeing that we have everything we need right now and the mentors and the guides, whether they're in human form, whether they're in spirit or guide form, whether they're in animal form, they, my children are my guides. My husband is my guide. I have spirits and well, light beings and all those things. But to come back down to being human and to realizing that this body tells me so much it tells me what I want it tells me what I don't want it tells me if I have an attachment it tells me if I am on a roll it tells me what season I'm in right it tells me it shows me the signs and synchronicities I can hear things I can hear a song that pops up when I'm in tune with my human my being it just expands even more right Quite often people will message me and go, you were in my dreams last night. You were clearing me. Thank you so much. I get this at least once a week. Someone, sometimes people I don't know go, you were with me last night, weren't you? And I'm like, probably. <laughs> I don't know. Probably, was I? Some of you feel like I've been with you throughout this whole challenge. Yes, I am. Because right now for this 10 days, just like in my membership, just like in my certification, when you're with me, I hold you. I hold you. I'm doing a lot of work right now. MM is so amazing. So much content to revisit time and time again. People do it. People do the certification like someone's about to do it for the fifth time because they love it so much. <sighs> yeah, why me? What brings you to your knees? What brings you to your knees? This is what I talk about quite often on my podcast, Awaken with Victoria Bond. What brings you to your knees where you scream and go, why me? <laughs> Fuck. Sometimes it's like that and sometimes it's like, yes. It's the passion, right? It's the passion. So what are you? I want you to tap into your energetics right now. 
do you see with your eyes do you see in your head i see in my head a lot there's a lot of spirit around today a lot they've literally been bombarding me that's why i've been a bit like whoa having to do a lot of energy work do you hear do you hear the the um the la that that kind of high pitch do you hear that do you hear static do you get ear pops do you sometimes feel like you <clears throat> with your throat or do you sometimes feel like you get hot hands i get very hot hands do you you see in your head joe do you sometimes get or like like that feeling that turned on feeling like whoa or do you feel like sometimes like someone behind you behind your shoulder you got to look behind you do you feel like sometimes that you shake in your bed like there's a little bit of a shake and you're like did an earthquake happen or did i see that curtain move or did did that drawing just move these are the subtleties, right? I'm very sensitive being splenic, so there's a lot of subtleties. When I put them together, I'm like, holy motherfucker. <laughs> Excuse my language. Just like the 1111 at the beginning. I was like, oh, we've been going for 1111 seconds. Oh, it's 12 past 12. What do you know? Coincidence? I don't think so. I just don't think so. I've got to trust that what I'm doing right now is transforming lives. I've got to trust that what I'm doing right now is not wasting my time and that people actually want to hear this. I've got to trust that because it's interesting to me. Really interesting to me. <sighs> ah, with my eyes, but I have blocks and barriers. That's very, very common, Rachel, because people that have seen with their eyes are like, holy shit. <laughs> no. Now, I don't blame you because if I saw a spirit standing right next to me and they looked extremely solid, and this does happen for people. It doesn't, it's only happened to me a couple of times in my life. Kind of thank fuck for that. But um i'd be like holy shit but i know because i'm seeing them in my head you know i have to double take it and go oh, okay show show yourself to me three times like like that girl yesterday i was like oh that's a hypothetical and i was like hang on shit i think you're real and later on i was sitting on the couch and i was like oh my god i'm feeling her emotions <laughs> i feel spirits emotions so emotionally i feel things i'm what we call a splenic projector I don't feel overly emotional when I'm alone. I feel very emotional now because I'm connected to you and some of you have got defined um, solar plexuses, which is what I talk about as well. I go deeper into human design. So if you are an emotional person, I'm going to feel your emotions because I'm an empath. So being an empath is a big thing, right? Hot hands, blocked ears, numbers, see flashes behind my eyes. Yes, I sometimes see a third eye. If I close my eyes and I'm in like a really deep transmission, I see a third eye. It kind of reminds me of the Lord of the Rings eye, which is kind of creepy. Um, yeah. How is this resonating with you guys? Give me an emoji down below. Is this resonating with you? Give me, look at your faces, look at the faces and like push the face of how you're feeling right now. Because some of you might be feeling like, whoa hold on to my seat I feel like I'm gonna take off some of you might be like I'm tired I'm in resistance but I need to hear this transmission some of you might be like tell me more how do I talk to spirit I'm on it let's go let's go let me know and make remember you've got your workbook that you can work through so identifying communication skills like I've just talked about like how do I communicate so I'm going to crystal shops and I'm going help help I think I'm having a spiritual awakening I don't know who to talk to I was just like a bit of a mess nothing on Facebook I was in no spiritual groups because I wasn't I've been told to stay away from that shit so I'd never been into a spiritual church I had never read a spiritual book I didn't know what chakras were I certainly did not have this pendulum the way I got this pendulum was amazing I asked for a rose quartz pendulum I said I'm a specific manifester in human design right so I'm going to ask for a rose quartz pendulum I want a regular denim jacket and I really need an exercise bra thank you that was my wish list my friend rings me up hey Vic come and see the clothes that I'm getting rid of I've had these clothes since I was 16 I said I don't want your old clothes no thank you I'm good she goes Victoria it's going to take you 10 minutes come on by I think you're going to like some of them and I went oh no I can't be bothered Victoria come on I went to her house I looked at the pile of clothes and I went oh there's a denim jacket picked up the denim jacket the freaking rose court pendulum was in it she's not even spiritual this was the little boy's mum, by the way, which is Emma's, um, there's a lot of Emma around and there's monarch butterflies right here. I'm kind of like, she's right here with us today. So, see, what do you have a pendulum for? You're not even spiritual. And she goes, oh, I don't know. I bought it one day with my boyfriend like 10 years ago. I said, I think you bought it for me. Can I have it? This was in the denim jacket. 
And then there was an exercise bra. She said, I never really, I never actually wore it because it was too small. And I wore, I went on and I wore that exercise bra for 10 years and I mean for three years or something and I'm still using this. And this was like seven years ago. Weird. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm telling you the fucking truth. <laughs> okay, so communication skills, asking. Working out all the fear, all those niggles, right? You can keep going back and watching the the um, the first day one if you want to. There's clearings in there. I really go deep into clearings. Huge. I do this in all my groups. Huge, huge clearings, okay? Um, so how do you want to communicate? So is the male on the right? Is the female on the left? We've got feminine and male right that kind of is what we do um the left side is more feminine the right side is more masculine um i've even been doing readings recently and i'm like okay i feel like it's a father figure and it's coming over here so it must be on your dad's side or, or whatever right so we get to create these and spirit wants to work with us i was looking externally for someone to tell me how to do this shit when what i found was my own way so now i teach other people how to do it their own way through experience, through releasing of the fear, and through practicing um, and getting evidence. Okay? You're getting what I'm saying? Oh, you're not well, Penny. I'm so sorry to hear that, that my love. It is really intense. Jenny, what is with your faces? <laughs> Jenny, you're already with me in magnificence. You're already with me in the in the thing. It's just showing up, showing up and doing the things. Okay, and we know spirit comes through for you all the time. It is beautiful. So writing down whether do you hear, see, smell, what what are the things? Are you clear cognient? I'm very clear cognient. I'm all of the fucking clears, but I have some that I, I work on and really heighten into. And this is what I'm going to do more in the membership is like really practicing the senses okay do i sense do i perceive with my eyes or with my heart or with my body we're all sensory beings we use all the clears right so everyone is clear everything but you'll have something that is more is stronger than <laughs> i'm just looking at all the emojis i'm like cracking up i'm like reading all the vibes here Yes, love magnificence. The membership is so good, isn't it, Joe? So it's like, well, what are they? I know that Emma is here today because I've talked about I've talked about this story, which is her sister-in-law. I've talked about her nephew, Jake. There's monarch butterflies here, and I can guarantee you, I will have Emma, 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 Emma. Someone will probably message me, and their name will be Emma. Signs and synchronicities are everywhere. That's a way that we communicate. But people stop and go, oh, I got a sign. And then they block it. They cock block the signs. Instead, I go, thank you for the signs. Okay, maybe I should get out my journal and, and start writing some things down. And maybe the information is going to come that way. How does that feel for me? Maybe I can find a mentor or learn more about it or read this particular book or reach out to somebody who's doing it. Or what am I interested in? How does this happen for me? Okay, so you will be given signs from the universe. So I had a lot of mentors, like the guy that I said that helped me with the entity clearing. That landed on my lap because I didn't have any money. I gave him a $40 koha. Interesting, I took um, Emma's... <laughs> I took the girl who gave me this with me. See, it's, again, there's another sign. Okay, so it's like... Time to reflect. Acknowledging your desires is exercise. This is so beautiful how we've created this, right? So, so beautiful. I'm so, thank you to my team who put it together, who m made my magic come through in the book, because it's all my words, and spirit as well, and Emma, because she's always here with us. So take some time to reflect on whether you desire to communicate with spirit. For those of you who go, I do, but I don't. I do that I don't. I do what I don't. Like, I want to put myself out there, but I don't. I want to put myself out there, but I don't. I want to be famous, but I don't. What do you think you're going to get? What do you think you're going to get? You're going to get fuck all. <laughs> you're going to get what you ask for, essentially. Having is the evidence of wanting. Write that down and contemplate it. Contemplate it. Clear, clear cognizance. Basically having an innate knowing and no bloody clue of where that came from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're a projector. So there's a lot of clear cognience, right? Um, I've been going through everything like crystals and learning and books since I was a child. 
Yeah, because that's because you're interested in it. Interested. I only see with real eyes. Once as a child, now I mostly mind sight. Knowing you and we know that you're psychic. You've got oracle card deck that you've created. My workbook isn't working. Boo. What else is possible with that, right? What I like to do is download things on my phone and just literally have it there on my phone and, and do the journaling, right? So do the journaling um, and write it down. What else is possible? Okay. Let's have a look. In my head, I see and I feel and I hear and I talk. I see in person. Yeah, I was just about to say, I actually feel that you've got fear attached, um, Alice. Good thing that you're in the membership because we can work through that, babe. So we'll work on that on... Um, Thursday we can't expect fear to just oh I'm I did a um, challenge with Victoria Bond and I have absolutely no fear yes that's possible but even I was in fear yesterday I've got to define spleen fear is a real thing for me the fear of judgment the fear of fucking up but the truth is I remember who I am I'm a human and I'm a being my being can be anywhere Remember, communicating with spirit can bring great joy and abundance. I said to the girl yesterday, thank you, you can pay me now. We can get paid. This is one of the biggest things I teach in Magnificent Mediumship and some of you can vouch. So please put in the comments because no one's going to believe this. You get paid from spirit to do readings. Now, one of my clients, I don't think she's here, she... Every time she comes into my vortex, she literally, literally gets given presents. Um, another one of my clients got $100,000 gifted to her once she signed up to MM. I shit you not. She was like, what the fuck? Did that come from me? No. But because I work so deeply with spirit, the generosity keeps flowing, right? So, um, who, who else has been uh, gifted? I know... Who else? I saw some people on here that I know have been gifted huge things coming into my vortex. So the gifts and the money come in. One day I was talking on the phone to this lady who just lost her son. He was 16 years old and it was three months after and she wanted a clarity call with me, which is essentially to see if we're a match for the certification. And she wasn't because I don't think anyone who's just lost somebody should come and do my certification um to talk to spirit i think that unless they go through that process with me and we talk about it like and see if they're a match energetically but she had to go through a whole lot of grieving of course and she had to deal with that before she came in and did a certification anyway i talked to her for ages her son just came in and he's standing there talking to me and i could pretty much see him with my eyes it was that clear in my head i read for her of course i read for her why wouldn't I read for her? She's on the phone to me. A little part of my brain goes, Victoria, what are you doing? And the other part said, you will be. <laughs> you give, you um, were gifted some products from Hayley Benson. And oh, that's beautiful. Yay. Um, so, yeah, the, the question is like, oh, how am I going to get paid? Because I'm doing a free reading right now and I'm not available for free readings. As soon as I got off that phone call with that beautiful mum and I helped the boy cross over, I helped her come into herself she never messaged me again she never ever messaged me again I said tell me if you want to work with me and one-to-one -one. tell me what you want from me how I can help you ghosted me it happens all the time and I said to the boy hey beautiful boy you can pay me now I got off that phone call and one of my friends who had been toying with come to MM a lot of my friends come and do my programs because they know how legit I am she said, I'm in. Fuck it, I'm in. I, I want to pay you. She paid me thousands of dollars. I think it was on a payment plan, but whatever, it doesn't matter. She paid me thousands of dollars, and I was like, thank you, young boy. Because <laughs> you just bought me those thousands of dollars because it meant so much to him. Spirit pays us. Be open to the teachings, to find your path to spiritual awakening. Oh, I love you, Penny. You're so profound. Today, me and my boyfriend saw a main main coon what is a main coon and a bengal cat down in the neighborhood which is crazy because me and my boyfriend were googling them on trade me last night and also i've had a lot of the lyran collectives come in so when i've been doing channels i've been seeing the lyrans i'm not sure where i did that channel it might have been in my membership the other day but um literally i've been seeing cats 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 so i would actually say to you layla that you um 
you are probably connected to that planet as well. So does anyone have any questions for me? Does anyone have any questions? This workbook is sitting here. You do this work, you uncover yourself. You know that spirit is you and you are spirit. Um, and you're willing to do the work and know that you're the strongest entity in your reality. Practice getting the evidence. Obviously, I'm a spiritual mentor, so I can help you in whatever way it feels good for you. I do want to say if you're interested in the membership to put a star in the comments because literally myself or my team will get back to you with the dealio on and I've got a special deal for those who are joining in this 10 days as well. Um, at the moment it's $19 a week which is a no-brainer. You can cancel at any time. Come in, suck up all the information, leave, whatever. It's totally fine. I totally get that spirit's going to bring me the right people. Um, not only that... Um, yeah what are you available for when it grows we've got four days left um and there's a lot oh hey tiger lily there's a lot to go through we're doing receiving of money and gifts right i kind of just oozed into that a little bit today um receiving of money and gifts when it comes to abundance and prosperity and opulence like what are you desiring and this is what we wrote acknowledging your desires what are your hairy audacious goals i went to the beach yesterday afternoon and i said to luke oh my god babe two years ago i was visualizing being on this beach it was a beach called onimana i was wearing my um beautiful dress that i wore yesterday with my gold earrings and stuff um, I had we had a bottle of coke and a packet of chips and a couple of many gen children um, and they were racing around and the beach was clear and it was just us and there was sunshine and it smelled beautiful and the breeze was perfect and I realized that I have done that meditation like 58 times this is where I want to be this is where I want to be this I want to wear a beautiful dress while I'm looking gorgeous with my hair is done I had my makeup on even I'm um, usually I'm a beach girl just like wearing you know tights but I said to look this has been in my dreams for as long as I can fucking remember and now we are here doing this there is no coincidence this is my dreams and desires come true and having is the evidence of wanting so what do we want for the next two years babe I said I want one of those houses on the beachfront where I can sit and look at it every day with my coffee I want to sit there in my spa looking at it I want to create impact in the world and I will do whatever it takes whatever it takes to help those that want to be helped like I was I don't want people walking around crystal shops going help help I'm going through a spiritual awakening I want to say here I am here's your shop here is everything you need I'm here for you okay <sighs> oh thank you Leslie I love you so much love all these New Zealand names <laughs> yeah people do win lotto people do get all sorts of stuff it is crazy 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 I've had people get their inheritance early get engaged get the dream the um, life of their dreams win cars I've had people get all these different things I'm not saying that's going to happen to everyone but um when they come to me uh, they don't need to worry about things I think a whole lot of stuff happened with you Leslie as well which was really freaking cool when you were doing one of my money programs so much okay I'm going to honor myself today and honor you for being here I know I go over I was only going to originally do half an hour sessions but I do love this so much I'm going to go and be human for a couple of hours and get my kids ready for school day seven is here tomorrow it's nearly been a fucking week can you believe my kids are at school tomorrow um it's very exciting and got so much to share with you so if you want to know more about this membership put a star in if you are here on replay please hashtag replay and um what was the other thing I wanted to say to you oh yeah and if you want to go into the draw to win the 30 minute one-to-one -one session with me something I very rarely do these days um because I'm a very very powerful projector so half an hour is a, a lot of time this is a lot of time a lot of energy you need to share take a screenshot share this invite people tell everyone how fucking amazing it is invite people to this group that you think would love this i want this to reach people um i really really do okay and just for a laugh i will since the cards are out i will pull a card awesome roxanne my love we will um send you the details for that there's no pressure i'm not going to try and pressure anyone to 
it's $19 a week. Like you just can't fucking go wrong, you know, um, and you can cancel at any time. Reach out to others for assistance. Poor timing for a career change. Feeling challenged by money issues. Okay, so I feel like there might be some money stuff going on where people are like, ah, recession, gotta watch your pennies, can't invest money in me. Go back to the kingdom of we. <laughs> if you are interested in going deeper with me in one-to-one -one, in the certification or, of course, in the membership, then all you have to do is reach out to me. Um, I do have some special specials. I do have um, some um some incredible incredible things popping up um that are available for you if you message me so it is time now to own <laughs> that laugh oh thank you for liking my laugh my daughter always goes mom stop <laughs> so heart what does your heart say stop thinking with your fucking head and start thinking with your heart on all areas all areas your heart is the thing that will guide you to the thing i'm doing this because of my heart i'm not doing this because my head said go spend 10 days giving your energy for free no i'm doing this because my heart said this is going to create so much more oh you today you felt it oh so beautiful you'll feel more and more and more actually rachel the more you're in my reality you'll start hearing me more so beautiful love you guys so much Love you, love you, love you. And uh, make sure you share. Share in the group as well. Like, share in this group. Do a post and say what, what changes are happening for you. The more you share, the more you grow, the more you create. So much love. Oh, that was one, 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 one. We're finishing. Bye.